Hi y'all, how y'all been? Um, today I am coming on here talking about disciplining our children in today's world. Um, the first thing I want to say about disciplining your children is know them. Learn your child. Pay attention to them. Talk to them. Spend time with them. Be nosy. Oh, I'm a nosy parent. I think the first step to parenting is being nosy. I have to know what's going on in your life and do it with love. All, everything you do, do it with love. When you discipline your children, do it with love. When you reward them, do it with love. You know, apologize when you're in the wrong um, and lead by example. Now, with that being said, let me make sure I put everything. Spending quality time talking to them, watching them, being nosy, disciplining with love, know your children. Um, I also want to talk about mental health a little bit. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that like ADHD, anxiety, um, OCD, things like that. Those are mental health issues that kids can have. You cannot... Sorry, you guys have to, you cannot beat it out of them. You can't spank it out of them. You can't ground it out of them. So it is okay to seek help. If you know, if you have exhausted all of your disciplinary actions, seek help. It's okay. I believe, and I am a firm believer that, um, it takes a village to raise a child. Um, you know, having mentors around, whether it's the grandparents, the aunties, the uncles, the godparents, you know, the parents' best friends, just someone that you know you can trust talking to your children. Because when all else fails, those people can come in and they can mentor your children. Um, yeah. I, I straightened my hair and it is so frizzy and I don't really like it because I'm used to my hair being big. But anyway, um, <clears throat> sometimes, well, for example, I told my sister-in-law, you know, she can tell my children the same exact thing I tell them and they listen. They may not listen to me when I told them, but they'll listen to her. So, um, Let's say with, with the mental health, with us touching on the mental health, we're going to move on from there and talk about how kids will be kids. They will test boundaries. They're just going to do that. That's how they learn. That's how they, they grow. So it is our job as parents to make sure we correct them inside the home. You know that saying home training. That's what that means. Because if you're correcting them inside the home, when they go outside into the world, they're going to display the behavior that you are working with them on. Okay. Um, however, I will also say that each child is different. No child comes with a handbook. None. Okay. Um, what works for one child may not work for the other. And what I mean by that is some children, let me see, I took some notes, okay? <laughs> so that I don't babble because I have a tendency to do that. Some children respond very well to a simple lecture. Some children respond well to being rewarded, some to being grounded, some to having things taken away. Um, and some to a spanking. Some of them you just have to spank. I'm going to say it. Um, if we don't correct them in the home, when they grow up and become members of society, which they already are, but, you know, adult members of society, the world has a way of correcting them. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> the world has a way of correcting them. And... I don't know about you, but I don't want the way the world corrects them 
to correct. I don't, I don't want the world to correct them. I don't want my children in correctional facilities. I don't want them getting fired from jobs left and right because they don't know how to conduct themselves. I don't want them getting in trouble out there. I want them to be productive members of society. Okay. So I have to correct them at home. And if I have exhausted, you know, if I've tried everything from lecturing, um, which is what I do first and foremost, lecture, and you still don't get it, then we're going to move on to the next step, which is, you know, taking something away and you still don't get it. Then you're going to get grounded. You still don't get it. You're going to get a spanking. Okay. Um, and I will tell you, my children are stubborn. Uh, they're very, very, very stubborn. And they will test every limit and boundary. Sometimes I think they do things just to see how we'll react. Mm -hmm. Just messing with us, you know? Y'all got those type of kids that just like to mess with you. <laughs> I can laugh about it when, I'm, <clears throat> when they're not around. But no, seriously, um, let's say my oldest, for instance, she almost doesn't respond to anything other than a spanking. I can ground her. I can take things away, you know, blah, blah, blah. However, now that she's older, the grounding is working. Thank the Lord. The grounding is working because she understands the seriousness of it. She's at that age where her friends are wanting to go and hang out and she can't go because she's grounded. And I'm talking uh, because grades teachers calling me and telling me that she's talking in class and and acting up and you know what have it um <clears throat> and I do want to say that there is a difference between a spanking and abuse okay abuse is when a spanking goes overboard when you take it completely out of control you should when you are disciplining your children you should always do it with love not with the intentions of physically harming them okay you should not be fighting your child like you are fighting someone on the streets like you are fighting for your life okay and honestly it doesn't take but a few licks you know you don't have to beat them black and blue. No, that's abuse, okay? Um, my thing is, until you're 18 years old, <clears throat> I am responsible for you and your actions. Anything you do is a reflection of me, even when you're an adult. Now, you make your own decisions, but however... I upbring you, me and your dad and your grandparents and aunties and whoever, however we um, upbring you is going to reflect who you are as an adult. And if we do a bad job at it, guess what? Hmm. So it is our job as parents, aunties, your parent, you're their parents too, a parent a mother and a father are who conceived and, and gave birth. Parents are grandparents, aunties, uncles, you know. Um, but anyway, so that I don't start rambling because I'll start getting off of subject with my notes. You have to know your child and you have to know what works for them. You you have to know. Um I'm not a psychologist, but they've done so many studies on talking about how to discipline your kids and saying that giving them spankings and things like that causes all of these mental health issues. No. And I told my kids, when it gets to the point where I'm giving you a spanking, don't I don't want them to hear, oh, my mom used to abuse us. She was crazy. No, 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 no. Because you had your turn. You had your chance. You need to be held accountable for the things that you are doing. And I think one of the biggest issues with today is that 
No one is holding anyone accountable for what they're doing. The kids aren't being held accountable and the parents aren't being held accountable for what the kids are doing. You know, when I receive a call from a teacher, I know my child, okay? I know my child and I know what she's capable of doing. I know if she talks too much at home, she talks too much at school. I know if she can't sit still at home, she can't sit still at school. So when I get a call from the teacher telling me that she is talking in class and you know the way she acts around her siblings arguing and doing things like that um i i know what the teacher is saying and i'm not gonna jump down the teacher's throat for calling me and and telling me on my child <laughs> no because i'm nosy i want to know what's going on at school and what's sad is that when i tell the teachers Thank you so much for calling me. You will not have this problem again. They sound relieved and happy. And I have clients that are teachers who when I tell them that they say, oh, because a lot of parents don't care. A lot of parents get mad at us. A lot of parents want to come to the school and get onto us because their child is acting up in class or whatever. No, no. I think that <clears throat> people use the term bullying out of context. There's a such thing as bullying, there's a such thing as abuse, but when you are correcting a child, when you're trying to get some order, get some control of your classroom, just like the judge says, order in the court, it's not abuse when you tell a child to get over there and sit down. I'm not gonna go to the school, why'd you tell my child to get over there and sit down? Why did you tell my child to be quiet? Why did you send my child? No, I'm not going to do that because that child needs to be held accountable for what they did. There are consequences and repercussions <laughs> to the things that we do as humans. And like I tell my children, there's rules everywhere. There's laws in this world. There's rules on your job. Even if you own your own business, there are rules you go, you're going to have to abide by and your employees are going to have to abide by. So, like I said, it is our job. It starts in the home. It does. It starts in the home. And make sure you discipline with love. We're going <clears> to, <throat> again, I'm going to remind you the key points. Know your children. I am nosy. I do believe in the old school ways of raising our children. People say, oh, things in this day and age, you know, it's not the same. It is. The difference is technology. Really, if you can tell me some things down below that have never been done before besides technology, please put it down there. Please let me know because maybe I'm missing something. But um, technology is really the only thing I see that's different. In the Bible, it says nothing under the sun is new. And I believe that nothing under the sun is new. Um, children are a little wiser. But all that means is things that we learned at, an er at a later age, they're learning at an earlier age. So... Be in the know. Know what they're doing. Be nosy. Do it with love. My children know the reason why I'm all up in your business is because I love you and I need to keep you safe. Okay? Um, they have My children have no problem coming and talking to me about things. I'm not going to shun them for talking to me about things. If they tell me something and they're wrong, I'm, I'm going to let them know. You're in the wrong for that. But thank you for coming and talking to me. Um, so yes, mental health. <clears throat> it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to seek help. If you feel like, you know, your child may need um, medicine for ADD, ADHD, it's okay. I know a lot of people say, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. But let me tell you, mental health is chemical imbalances, okay? It just means that there, 
their hormones, the chemicals in the body aren't triggering. They're not. Okay, so my phone's going dead, so I'm just going to quit rambling, and I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that little notification bell because you won't always be notified when Mrs. McCrazy uploads a video.